Let's look at the currency setting in SAP Financials. A company will have to use different currencies when dealing with vendors and customers who are not in their home location. So it's important to maintain different exchange rate types in SAP. So when you get an incoming or you're doing an outgoing transaction in a foreign currency, the system will already have the currency translation settings in place. So let's look at what are the different exchange rate types you can maintain in SAP. One is the historical rates. This is usually used in a fixed rate scenario. For example, you have got a few months back a historical rate of 1 euro to 1 USD is 1.30 and you can use this as a fixed rate throughout the whole year or even for a few months. So this is a real use scenario because it does not reflect the accurate value of the currency translation as of today. The other three commonly used exchange rate types is the bank buying rate and bank selling rate. Now you must be familiar when you try to go abroad you will want to buy a currency from a bank and there will always be a difference between the buying rate and the selling rate. So when you purchase a currency from a bank it will be the bank's selling rate and when you are giving changing your foreign currency to the bank it will be the bank's buying rate. So there will always be a difference between the bank buying rate and the selling rate. Now the most commonly used exchange rate type in SAP and the recommended one is the average rate. It is denoted by the letter M whereas for buying rate is denoted by the letter G and for selling rate it's the letter B. For average rate is the letter M and the average rate is calculated by adding up the buying rate and selling rate and dividing by 2. So in this example it's $2.30 when you add up these two and the average of $2.30 is $1.15. So this is the average rate. Now let's look at the currency configuration in SAP to have more detailed understanding. Let's look at the currency configuration. In the IMG menu path you got to click on SAP Net Fever, then General Settings and Currencies. So this is the menu part to set the currency configurations. Now as you can see, usually when we did the other configurations, we went through the financial accounting path. But for currencies, it's under the SAP Net Weaver path. That's because in most scenarios, we do not have to do any configurations under these settings. For example, very unlikely that we will be creating a, a new currency because the system will automatically provide you with a list of all the currencies used worldwide. This is a transaction code if you want to define a new currency. For example, if a country has adopted a new currency, then you can click on new entries and enter the currency code, a long text and short text. By default, mostly all the type of currencies used worldwide will be listed here. And you can click the primary currency of your company code by checking this tick box. Another setting is defining the translation ratios for currencies. This again would have already been defined by SAP. Let's have a look at that transaction. As you can see a warning message already comes up saying that any changes you will do will have some impact. So that's why we usually don't do any configurations in these currency settings. But for academic purposes let's just continue to have a look. Here you can see they have defined the translation ratio from each currencies from British Pound to Euro and different currencies Euro to Deutsche Mark and all the different type of currency translation ratios Australian dollars to USD dollars and from which date is valid and the translation ratio is 1 to 1. So this means when you exchange enter the exchange rate 
you exchange you enter the exchange rate from one Australian dollar to one US dollar. That's what this one to one means. We look at it in more detail when we maintain the exchange rate types. Then this is the transaction where you go and enter the exchange rates. You can also use the tran short transaction code OB08, but if we want to limit this configuration path to users and you want to give another transaction code, the other tr general SAP menu transaction code used is F-62. We'll have a look at it later. Now let's click on enter exchange rates. Now here you can define all the currencies. You can define the exchange rate as of today or in different dates or of, for future dates. Now let's click on new entries. The exchange rate type we are going to use is M. As we discussed earlier in the slides, M is the average rate which we will maintain. It's easier to maintain an average rate rather than using a buying rate and selling rate or using any other exchange rate types. And let's put a date. So from this date onwards, the currency translation ratio from Australian dollar to a US dollar is 0 0.74 cents. So this means one Australian dollar is equal to 0 0.74 or 74 cents of a US dollar and click on enter and you can already see the 1 and 1 is coming up over here as we saw in our earlier screen maintaining translation ratios that will always maintain the translation ratio from Australian dollar to US dollar as 1 is to 1. So this means 1 Australian dollar is equal to 74 cents of a US dollar. So in this currency setting scenarios, you will most likely be only maintaining daily transaction values in this table or in this transaction code. You can save the entry, press OK for the transport request and the data is saved. Similarly, you can maintain for other currencies as well in this screen. Let's go back. You can see all the other entries are there as well. Okay, so that's how you enter the exchange rates. Now this can also be accessed by another transaction code F-62. And it brings you back to the same screen. Again you can click on new entries and maintain the exchange rates. You can also copy it, have all your exchange rates defined in Excel and paste it as well, which is much easier to maintain. We saw the currency configurations. I have put some screenshots for your reference. Now let's look at the tools you can use to maintain the currency conversions. There are three tools which you can use in SAP. The first one is the base currency. So base currency is usually the currency which your company code uses. So the advantage of maintaining a base currency is in this example if my base currency is set as US dollars then you only have to maintain the exchange rate type from US dollars to Australian dollar and US dollar to Malaysian ringgit and the system will automatically calculate the exchange rate from Australian dollar to Malaysian ringgit. This is simple logic. If USD to AUD is 0 0.75 and USD to MIR is 4, then AUD to MIR is 3, 0 0.75 times by 4. So you do not have to maintain two dif three different exchange rate combinations. Just maintaining two will automatically calculate the third party calculations. That is having the advantage of the base currency method. 
The other one is the inversion method. Now usually inversion and base currency go hand in hand together. For example, if you have maintained the currency translation as 1 US dollar is equal to 4 Malaysian ringgit, then system will automatically calculate that 1 Malaysian ringgit is equal to 0 0.25 US dollars. It's just 1 divided by 4. The third option of maintaining the exchange rate is having an exchange rate spread. Again, this is rarely used because it requires additional work. Because you will be having, you can maintain a base currency and you need to specify a spread amount. And then the system will calculate the buying rate and selling rate. For example, if your base rate from US dollar to MYR is 4, and if you define a spread of 20 cents, then the buying rate and selling rate will be 4 minus 20 and 4 plus 20, which is 380 and 420. So these are the three tools you can use to maintain your currencies. Now you do not have to know the configuration of currencies translation and currency settings because as I mentioned earlier it's rarely done. But you should know the type of exchange rates. We saw four different types, historical rate, bank buying rate, bank selling rate and the average rate. You should also know the tools to maintain the exchange rates. As we saw in the earlier slide, it's a base currency, the inversion method, and the exchange rate spread. As a practice for your assignment, use the transaction code F-62 and update a few currencies as per your today's exchange rate provided by your central bank.